Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, today we're just going to be breaking down this Night Lavelle type beat I uh, made not too long ago. Something a little harder and a lot darker. Um, I've been doing a lot of R&B on this channel, but you guys also seem to like my Night Lavelle stuff a lot, so I thought I'd switch it up a bit and do some of that. Before we get into it, I am contractually obligated by myself to uh, plug my kits real quick. So just a reminder, you can go get my drum kit Vertigo in my sample kit Silhouettes on my website. Uh, you can use this code for 25% off either of those. Um, and I also have a new drum kit dropping hopefully sometime in May. Uh, I've been working a lot on that recently and I'm going to be showing off some of those drums in this video. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so we're at 120 BPM. Uh, that's usually around where I go for this kind of beat. You want it in the middle, I would say like 100 to 140, um, which is kind of a big range, but that's just what I try to stick to. This one, I just went with 120. First sound I started off with was this pluck from a haze on the sphere bank. Uh, it sounds like this with no effects. Kind of almost like an EDM kind of sound. It's like kind of interesting. And I just went ahead and laid down this simple melody. We are in C-sharp minor. Uh, the key you use doesn't really matter that much as long as it's a minor key. And you make sure to utilize a bunch of like half steps and like minor intervals, stuff like that. So this one, it's basically all half steps and then a few jumps around those. Um, but that's the basis of it. For effects, I just cut out the lows. I used a gross beat on the two beat gate um, just to like give it kind of a pumping feeling, but I also brought that mix down to about half or a little less. And then I also just used the default micro shift preset. And with those effects, it sounds like this. So not much different besides that kind of like pumping feeling. On top of that pluck, I just layered this um, like airy kind of string type pad from Expand. It's the Aeronaut pad. And I just went ahead and laid down this pattern on that. And I actually didn't even put any effects on that, but together with the pluck. Kind of just adds to that dark atmosphere. Um, and then there's also a section where I have those same strings an octave down. After that, I went and found this vocal loop from Splice. Well, that was kind of cool. But I just pitched it to the correct key. It was already labeled as E minor, so I knew just to pitch it up 900 or down 300. And then I just put it on E3 generic. And then I actually just went in and I manually chopped it up to where I liked how it like fit with it. So it's just kind of super ambient, not too crazy. On top of it, I just put a tall reverb, very wet, nice. Plus a delay, a stereo shaper on the shrinked preset as always. And then I also put a tremolator on it on the 1 8th and pretty deep, uh, just so it like pumps. And that chop I made sounds like this under the pluck. And then the final melodic element I added was just this texture pluck, which is also from Omnisphere. And it's from that same haze bank. It's just this pad right here. It sounds like this with no effects. With effects. So also just really ambient, um, but it has this weird like s noise in the background. Um, and that's partially from RC20. I think this is just the vinyl one preset with a few tweaks. I also just added another tall reverb and a pan man just to bounce it back and forth. So all those melodic elements so far sound like this. So then from there, I thought that was a good like starting point and I wanted to start doing drums slash some like effects stuff. So I started with this sub bass. I kind of went crazy with the pattern. I don't usually do this, or at least not recently. Like I used to do this a lot more, but recently I've been sticking to the less is more. But on this one, I kind of went crazy. Um, this is the pattern and it sounds like this. So 
So I think that's pretty much just following like the root notes of the chords, even though there's no like chords playing. And it also incorporates a lot of those half notes that are in the main melody. So it complements that main pluck really well. Then I layered this siren effect. Um, I think it's also from Splice. And then this lab effect, which is also from Splice. And that siren only plays in the intro. Uh, if it played through the whole thing, it'd be really obnoxious. I have a pet peeve of songs that like have sirens in them, because like when you're driving and it comes in, it's like, what the fuck? Every time I have a panic attack because I think I'm being pulled over, so I kind of regret putting that in there, but it also kind of has a cool effect. So it's, uh, I wouldn't do it again, but yeah, anyway. From there, I started on drums. I started with this 808, which is actually an 808 from my upcoming kit, but it just sounds like this. So there's this main pattern, uh, which is pretty much just following the root note with a couple like bounces out of that. Then there's this pattern, which is the same thing. It just has like a really high jump at the end of the pattern. And then finally there's this one, which is just a lot more bare bones. There's just the one hit at the beginning and then a lot of space and then it starts up again. That's kind of just for like this breakdown section. Yeah, then on top of that, I layered this kick, which is also from my new kit. Um, sounds like this. And layered together. Second half of the pattern does have a couple switch ups where like the kick hits before the 808, just to add a little bit more bounce and a little bit more variation. That kind of thing. After that, I just threw a uh, basic chop snare. Um, this one's also in my kit though, but it sounds like this. And I just had some tall reverb on that just to add some ambience. Then I just went in and I added a hi-hat also for my kit. The pattern looks kind of crazy. It's not too wild though, to be honest. Uh, I did incorporate a lot of lower octave hats, um, which I like to do in these kind of dark, like Night Lavelle beats. And then also a couple like higher octave ones, but not too many. Just a lot of rolls, uh, not much velocity variation in this, um, which I would usually add, but I thought the kind of like roboticness of this kind of added to it a little bit. After that, I just added this open hat that's kind of like an accent. It just has a bunch of reverb and delay on it. Nothing too crazy, but it does add something cool to it, I think. Then there's this other snare that doesn't play very often. It's just towards the end. Then it moves into this section where the vocals come in and I add a couple of perk loops um, and I take out that accent hat. Those separately sound like this. This is the, I call this one heavy hats just cause it sounds like some heavy hats. And then this one lighter hats, um, just for the same reason. I think it's the same thing, just pitched differently. Then we move on to this kind of like breakdown section um, where I add this open hat. Which also just has reverb. And then finally we just add one more little uh, kind of like bounce snare. And that's pretty much it for the drums. I think a lot of the interest in this beat comes from like the arrangement and like the kind of effects. Um, I used a lot of risers to like lead into different sections. And I did the thing where I cut off all the drums at the last snare. Um, and I actually used a riser leading into that last snare to add kind of a different effect. Which just kind of adds like this tension and then that snare hits and there's silence and then it moves into a different section, which is the way I like to transition between um, like sections of a beat a lot recently. I just have this crash and then this crow sound effect at the drops. 
Those are kind of just like ambience ear candy things. I do have this riser leading back into like the sections with the kick in a few places. And then near the outro here, I just have this little drum fill. Which is just a pretty generic fill. I don't even have any effects on it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There is this little section in the middle where I just sent a bunch of things in the mixer. This mixer is super unorganized. That's why I haven't really been showing it this video. But I just have a bunch of things like bust to it where you just click on the sound you want, right click on these little arrows down here, and then route to this track only. So it will just feed into this track, and then this track feeds to the master. And then you can just like put effects on this bus track that will affect everything that's routed to it, if that makes any sense, I don't know. But for that I have this love filter on the Simple Triangle Low Pass LFO preset, and then this Bandpass EQ. And I have those sent to automation tracks so that they only come on during this one little section in the middle of the beat right here. So everything that's routed to it just gets super filtered and it sounds kind of underwater. Kind of spooky. And then I just have those uh, fade out and it drops back in. And then I also just have this um, automation clip that's just like automating the volume of this uh, lab texture. It kind of like detracts from the beat when everything's playing, but when it's like just the uh, melodic elements, I think it sounds pretty cool. So I wanted it to be more present during the parts with out drums than with drums. So I just use this automation clip. But yeah, I think that's the beat. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it's one of my better Night Lavelle beats, I would say. Main thing I focused on was just keeping it nice and bouncy and like this steady, like marching rhythm almost. Cause Night Lavelle has that really steady monotone flow. So you want to kind of like give him something to go off of in that regard. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that normal YouTube BS. But yeah, actually, please do comment and let me know what you guys want to see. Um, that would help me out a lot. I just don't really know what to post on this channel, to be honest. So I'm just kind of like doing a bunch of different things and seeing what hits. But if you guys would tell me what you want, that'd be a lot more useful. You know what I'm saying? So uh, make sure you leave a comment. Go follow me on Instagram at proudby underscore instinct. You can ask me any questions on there. Cut my kits. You can use that code for 25% off. Go check out my new R&B channel, Rain. I will also link that in the description and probably like up here in the top right of this video. Finished beat will play right now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.